tractors equipped with loaders are very useful for handling different types of material. However, they have the potential to be hazardous if they are not operated correctly. Loader tractors need to be ballasted correctly with rear wheel weights or weight frames to counteract and stabilize the load carrying capacity of the tractor. Tractor tires should be inflated to recommended pressure. Proper inflation pressure is essential to maximize load carrying capabilities and minimize the risk of premature tire failure. When operating loader tractors, allowances should be made for the increased length and weight of the loader when making turns, transporting, and when stopping. The operator should always carry a load low in order to keep the center of gravity close to the ground. When using pallet forks, always pick up the load in the center so it is properly balanced. It's important to use all loader attachments for their intended purpose and within their load capacity limits. Never use pallet forks to lift large round bales or other unstable loads. Use a bale spear or grapple attachment to handle round bales. Make sure the bucket or other loader attachment is securely attached to the loader frame and that the attaching pins are locked in place. When you are finished using the tractor with loader, properly park it before getting off the tractor. The loader and attachment should be lowered to the ground before shutting the engine off. Engage the parking brake and place the transmission lever in the neutral position. It's a best practice to move the hydraulic control levers or joystick to all operating positions several times to relieve oil pressure from the circuits. Confirm your state laws for lighting requirements. Laws vary from state to state, but in general, tractors and self-propelled machines are required to have two headlights, two red taillights, at least two amber flashing warning lights, and turn signals. Some states have specific laws requiring lights or reflective tape out to the width of the tractor or the implement. If the tractor is equipped with work lights, they can be turned on but should be facing down to give better visibility but not out to the rear, where they could blind approaching drivers. If your implement is equipped with lights, make sure the 7-pin connector is plugged into the tractor socket. If you are leaving a field after dark, check your lights before you get on the road. When driving farm equipment on public roads, the operator should be very aware of everything that is going on around them. Many vehicle drivers on the road are unfamiliar with slow-moving equipment, and become impatient very quickly. When transporting equipment, lock the tractor brake pedals together to improve braking ability. If you are towing an implement, raise it to the transport position and lock it in place in the narrow transport position. Use the same gear to descend a hill that you would use to go up and do not depress the clutch pedal or allow the tractor to coast. During road transport, always travel at a speed that is relative to the conditions. Make sure your speed is slow enough that you can stop quickly in case of an emergency. All tractors and equipment are required to have an SMV, Slow Moving Vehicle Emblem. The emblem is reflective and fluorescent and is to warn approaching drivers to slow down and be cautious. Keep your SMV emblem clean and replace it when it becomes faded or unreflective. It is important to choose a good location when unhitching implements. You will want to find solid, level ground where the implement will not roll or sink. When unhitching an implement with hydraulic hoses, shut off the engine, move the hydraulic control levers back and forth to release the pressure before unhooking the lines. Make sure that all jacks and support stands are in place and that all items are disconnected from the tractor before pulling away from the implement. When you have finished working for the day, let the engine idle and cool down before shutting it off. You may want to refuel your tractor at the end of the day to reduce moisture and eliminate condensation buildup to keep your fuel clean. While refueling, make sure that the engine is not running. Don't forget to set the parking brake after you park the tractor for the evening. When dismounting, you want to use the three points of contact. Never jump off the tractor. Hopefully, these procedures will prevent accidents, keep the workday stress-free and enjoyable, 
and allow for an evening of rest and relaxation and a fresh start for the following day. Thank you for your attention and for spending time with us. We encourage you to follow best practices when operating tractors and implements. Shortcuts can cause mishaps that can be unforgiving. Whether you are a professional farmer or a rural lifestyle farmer, you work hard to produce abundant food to feed the world. For that, we sincerely thank you. And most of all, remember Massey Ferguson wants to earn your tractor and farm equipment business. Wishing all of you success and a happy and productive life.